looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today we have the 50 drop for today's Friday. Now, of course, guys, as you guys do know, every, every Friday, 350 players. Some of the top 50 players that have ever played in Madden Ultimate Team that you've ever used. So pretty much every week we're getting glitches left and right, right? Today's another great day, as per usual. Some Niners love. A lot of Niners love as of lately. We got Sanders. We got the two guys today. A lot of Niners love if you do power them all up and you chem them up and everything. So Niners team is definitely looking great, guys. But before we get into the video and I show you guys the stats, the players, and kind of my thoughts, make sure you're going to blow. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to bell, boys, of course. And if you want a chance to be shouted out on the pool of squad, all you have to do is go down below and like the video, turn the noti bell, comment down below Poodle Squad. That's all you gotta do now. For today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Tread T T T Red Hat One or T Tread Hat One. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. That's about it, guys. If you want to pick up these 50 players later today when they do drop around two ish, make sure you're gonna blow to Mutt Reserve down below. Coins are gonna be discounted. You can buy the 50 players directly on there as well. And training, of course, use code Poodle for 15% 15 off the additional discounts already but let's get into it all right guys so first we have vernon davis which is super exciting guys 92 overall i'm a big vernon davis guy i've been playing madden ultimate team since the beginning madden 12 madden 13 times now back in madden 13 and madden 12 vernon davis well madden 13 more so for me vernon davis was a goon like he was that guy he was that fast tight end that everyone had like that was tight end i rocked with i didn't rock with jimmy graham i didn't want uh, rock with Joe, tony g it was always vernon davis especially when he got that combine card i remember it too like he was like flexing all up in the picture and he had like a 90 he had like a 99 speed or something like that that vernon davis was incredible he was always great that card used to go for like half a million coins and back then half a million coins is different than now like you get coins easier now back then it was harder so at that point i was like untouchable like that's a player you just can't afford ever it was a different time period in the economy back then but vernon davis is always super solid he's always a very well-rounded tight end he's usually not great at catching he's usually decent at catching route running and run blocking and then super fast now i can see where that might be more of an issue in today's madden because of course now we have to worry about thresholds and abilities but let's get into speed speed 81 strength 87 catching 87 catching traffic 87 spec catch 86 short running 84 medium art running and 77 run blocking in general now again the card's very well rounded what's, what's really great is that run blocking and the speed combo now the issue with the catching and the strength and catching and traffic is going to be simply even with camps and threat he's not gonna hit every threshold here now catching traffic and catch he may hit if you end up using play fake which most people don't use and spec catch if you use go deep now you may get there of course if you power him up and do all that now the catch is going to be almost fun the issue is going to be the route running so he will not hit the medium route running threshold even if you do power him up and use play fake so it, it's not viable that's the only issue with him is that he's not gonna get the route running threshold now again if you just if you're not a guy that looks at threshold and ability it's fine because then he won't get slot apprentice and all other stuff but if you do look at a lot of stuff maybe he's not tight end for you over darren waller per se but if he's a good price i'll probably still rock with him despite that because i still do i sometimes i don't care about that i just care about the speed and getting him in space but of course, if we're playing very competitively, he's not going to be better than Waller. But I still do like him because he does get to 89 speed, which makes him the fastest tight end by a decent amount. I do like that. Uh, he's right there with Waller, of course, but I like the speed. If he's a good price, I'll probably pick him up. Some good nostalgia. I love using Vernon Davis. Let's move on to the next card here. In the list, we got Patrick Willis, 92 overall. Now, Patrick Willis was the reveal from last night, so of course, you guys probably seen his stats already. But again, another 49er here. You got to go Willis. You got to pick up Willis if you do see him. You get, if he's a good price, you got to pick him up. 89 speed, 91 excel, 83 strength, 90 tackle, 90 play rec, 87 block shot, 90 hit power, and 81 zone. Now, card's amazing. He, he's powered up and kept up. He's going to get 90 speed. He already has above 90 thre uh, threshold tackling, above 90 play rec. He'll come close to block shooting depending on what abilities you guys use. Above 90 hit power, and then the 82 zone, which you can get up to like an 86. So he's not going to get the zone threshold. Maybe you want to use him, but again, he's kind of like Ray Lewis. You kind of want to just let him be. Honestly, I'd probably let him be and then use it like a Shazier or a Queen or something because the zone's good enough where he can still play the zone and then he has the hit power and the block shit. He's gonna be gonna be he's gonna be phenomenal. And of course he's tall. I forget exactly how tall. I know it's in the six foot range. But Patrick Willis is insane, guys. Yeah, I think you gotta pick up Willis. He's an auto scoop. He always is whenever his cards come out. He's the only mixture of speed, hit power, zone, block shit you're typically gonna get. Like you usually don't find it. Even even Ray Lewis usually doesn't have that exact zone or the speed either. So Patrick Willis, in my opinion, must scoop. Vernon Davis isn't a must scoop for every single team because I know competitive teams are going to really be, they care a lot about that and that threshold and stuff. But in terms of just being, you know, fast and a good card, I still like him. It may even be a more budgety option than Waller because Waller is, of course, an LTD. 
But moving on from him, we got one last one. Antonio Cromartie, 90 overall cornerback for the Chargers. Now, you know Cromartie's been around a few teams. I'm pretty sure he's been on the Cardinals. I'm pretty sure he's been on the Jets. Could be wrong. Don't crucify me. But he looks great. We got the other Cromartie in the game now, which is super cool to see. The thing with Cromartie is that he's usually very well-rounded. And usually his, they kill his zone a little bit more than usual. But they actually made it close enough to where you can get the threshold. So he's going to be an all-threshold cornerback. He's at 91 speed, 90 excel, 92 agility, 92 jumping. 89 play rack, 92 man, 87 zone, 92 press. Now, again, if he can hit every threshold, he's going to be a top tier cornerback. If you pair him up with DRC and Deion Sanders, you have an elite trio of cornerbacks. He's going to get powered up 92 speed, powered up 91 excel, 93 agility, 93 jumping. Now, it's big years. He's going to hit the play rack threshold powered up, 88 zone, 93 press, 93 man. But now you can come up as well. So his man could potentially get up to like a 97, 96. His zone can get up to like a 92, 93. And his press can get up to like a 94, 95, 96 ish. Depending on how much you have. Now, gonna be one of the most locked down corners in the game. Gonna be great at zone, man. Gonna be part of the meta. Kamardi fits everything you need in a cornerback right now. Him, DRC, and Dion are just an elite, elite trio. I highly recommend you pick up. I think all three of these are, 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 are biased today. I mean, this is one of the best 50 drops we've had yet in terms of names, in terms of stats, in terms of usability, in terms of thresholds. I, I think this, this one was great. I think it's better than last week's, even. And last week's, I mean, of course, we had Favre and stuff, but this one's better. I think I like this one more in terms of just play, like glitch you getting every player's gonna be glitchy at their position. And like I said, Vernon Davis may not have the, the route running, but if I find my tight end open, once that ball in his hand, the route running doesn't matter anymore. Unless, like, I don't use my tight end like on route, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't use him to be like a route you up kind of guy. So I let him run his stuff. I find him open, he's open, he's gonna make a play. But guys, about it for this video. Let's head over to the mountain screen to close it out. That's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are into the channel and you did enjoy, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like the video, of course, guys. Can we get 100 likes in today's The 50 reveal? If you want a chance to shout out on the Poodle Squad, of course, like the video anyways. Comment down below Poodle Squad and, of course, be subscribed to the channel and turn on the noti bell. Once you do all those things, you have a chance to be shouted out. Today was, I think, Tread Kid, whatever it was. I said it already before. You guys heard it. And, of course, if you need coins, head over to Mount Reserve down below. Take advantage of the just drop price and coins as well as pick up the new players. And just go Poodle for an additional 15% off your order. Pick them up as soon as they come out around two, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to need these cards. And Weekend League's running right now. So, you can pick them up, plug and play, hop right into Weekend League. So, guys, real quick, he did mention no Mosphere news as well today. For all you guys probably wondering what's going on with Mosphere. No news yet. And, of course, today is Friday. So, not that we, I mean, we're hoping to be today or at least some news. So, if anything, it's going to be next week, uh, almost guaranteed. Now, getting later than usual, kind of, kind of weird they're doing it this way. Like, I thought last year was late, and they're really late now. I don't know if it's because they're prepping for next gen so much. I really don't know, but hopefully they do give us some news within the next few days or so, so we're not too far behind. That's about it. Of course, their power-ups going to be crazy expensive, but it's because it's going to be the uh, the bane of uh, 50 players for the time being. But guys, that's it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.